Hey guys, it's Ren from Makeup by Ren Ren, and if you want to see this look, my smoky eye look from the Urban Decay Naked Palette, stay tuned for more. Hey guys, so I'm back with another tutorial. I'm on a roll with these tutorials. And I um, have done a tutorial which has been much requested, not really this look specifically, but everybody's been asking me to do a tutorial with a Naked palette because I mentioned that I bought it a couple of weeks ago, maybe like maybe even a month or two ago. And um, I haven't used it too, too much. It looks pretty new still actually. And it's because when I first played around with it, I wasn't sold. Everybody really seems to love it, but I wasn't like, eh, I'm not like in love, love with it. And the reason is, is because the colors are kind of got a little bit of a cool tone to them. And I really like warm toned neutrals. And like some of these colors end up looking a little bit muddy on the eyes, I noticed. And then I was kind of disappointed because like Sidecar, for example, and like Dark Horse, like they have a lot of glitter fallout. So... I kind of was like, yeah, but then I decided, okay, I filmed a tutorial, and I did actually a really natural look with it, just like a really light gold look for the summer, and I got a new camera, as you can tell, because the quality is way better, and I was like, oh, the old camera, the old video had the old camera, and I didn't really want to go backwards, so I was like, let me go ahead and do another tutorial, because people keep asking, and then I was on YouTube, and I was browsing videos, and... I recently subscribed to, um, I think her name is I'm Beat, I'm Beat Face Honey, or something like that, and I, I, y'all probably know who I'm talking about. Anyway, she had a tutorial on the Naked Palette, and she's known for her really dramatic looks, and she did this beautiful smoky eye using this Naked Palette, and that's where I was totally inspired from this look. I didn't come up with this color combo. She used pretty much these colors. It looks different a little bit the way she did it, but I really liked how she put the colors together, and I feel like... This look is really pretty, and it came from this palette, so maybe there is hope. So yeah, this look is more like a really metallic-y, dirty, metallic, smoky eye, and it's got a lot of shimmer. I didn't use any matte colors, which is like rare for me. Um, I kind of wanted to do the look from the palette completely, and then I just stuck with a nude lip and like kind of nude cheeks, and this is what I came up with. So. Um, let me know if you guys like it. Um, if you want to see how I did this look, stay tuned for the tutorial. So um, what I'm going to do first is put a base down. I'm using MAC's Indian Wood Paint Pot. I don't usually use um, tinted bases on my eye, but I noticed that this look with this palette, it's um, some of the colors are a little bit more cool toned. And I think it kind of helps to have a warmer base underneath. And I'm only putting the base color onto my lid because it's a, I don't want it all the way up because I've got to keep the brow boom clear. And then I'm going to start placing the lid color down. So I'm just going to take uh, my flat Lancome brush and I'm going to get Half Baked, which is a really pretty, uh, kind of like a, what is that, a bronzy, a goldy bronzy shade. And I'm going to pack it on the lid. And this is a very pigmented color. You don't even need this um, gold base underneath, but the base actually kind of matches it really well. So I'm just going to pack it on about halfway. And it's really, really bright and fun and shiny, and it's great for nighttime. So now I'm going to take this color called Sin. It's kind of more of like a pearly champagne. And I'm just going to get it right in my tear duct and blend it over just to kind of lighten up the inner port portion of your eye and you'll blend that out later now I'm going to take a blendy brush this is the two, uh, what is this called E25 from Sigma part of the duo brushes from their palettes I'm going to get Hustle and it's a um, kind of like a plummy shade and then I'm going to use that and start to etch out the outer portion and blend it up and it's like I get most of the darkness here and then I take the residue and I blend it up here 
and that way you don't have too dark of a color because I'm kind of using it as a crease transition shade up here. But we want to definitely build the color up here. Now as you can see, this is more like, the thing that I don't love about the Naked Palette is it tends to look a little muddy on the eyes, like a little dirty. But with this look, it's okay because it's kind of like a smoky, dirty look anyways. Okay, so just make sure to blend it out really good. Okay, now I'm going to go in with um, a, this is the Hakuhodo, like a pointed crease brush, and I'm going to get Creep. Shake out the excess, and now I'm going to start to just darken, darken out this portion. And I'm going to really try to get it smoky. And to help with that, you can take another like pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30 from the dual ended brush from one of their new eyeshadow palettes. And you can really darken it up. And get it really in the crease. Keep building the color because you want it to be really dark. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and just flip the brush over to the blendy side. Get a little bit more of that hustle. And then blend out the edges. And what I find that's helpful if you feel like the color is getting too dark, because I just don't like when color goes up way too high, um, you can take a fluffy brush. Um, this is from the Sigma E40, another dual ended brush. And you can get like a neutral color like Naked and get it on the blending brush. And then you can just kind of go over it and it kind of softens it a little bit. So that way the color is not too much. And then I'm going to get a little bit more, add just a little bit more back. And I like the warmness of the shade like above the crease because it kind of helps to warm it, everything back up. Okay, now I'm going to take um, this color Virgin. It's like a really beautiful highlight color. And I'm just going to get it right here. And blend it out good. And I'm going to take it all the way down here, so that way we can blend out the edges of where I put that shimmer, and all the way around. And I'm just going, I always have to like extend my eyebrow because I always blend it out. Kind of rushed on my eyebrows today. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and line. Um, I really recently started using the Eve Pearl Black Pearl Liquid Liner again, and I really love it. I forgot how much I love this. So I'm going to line, and then I'm going to create a pretty good wing. Okay. For the bottom, I'm going to get some black in my waterline. This is Black Funk. It's part of like a really old MAC duo. I don't know if you guys remember this one. It's really black, and it still works. I got on there kind of messy, it's okay. So then I like, I don't know why I did this, but I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other eye. I took um, brown, a brown pencil, this is Urban Decay Bourbon, and then I put it underneath the black right here to help blend it out. And then I took, I'll take a little brush like this, um, the Sigma E20, and I get more of that hustle color right here. And I'm going to get it right on the outside and set it because that's a really smudgy pencil, so you want to set it. Then I took a gold pencil. This, honestly, I don't even think this is that good. It's made because it's old. It's a NYX gold pencil. And I brought it in to that inner um, part of the lower lash line. 
And then this is the fun part. I took um, glitter eyeliner from MAC. The shade is called Her Glitz. This is totally limited edition, but any like metallic y um, glitter liner you have, just pop it right on top of where you put that gold pencil. And it's going to really brighten here and it's kind of fun. See that? Okay. And then you can be OCD and fix anything that you want. Okay. So now I'm going to pop on some lashes. I'm using Sonia Kashuk Glamour Lashes. I've worn these many a time in my videos. So I'm going to pop these on and I'll be right back. Okay, so the lash is on and it really jazzed it up. And I use this new mascara. It's a Smashbox Full Exposure. I picked it up at New York Makeup Show. It came in a set. And I really like it. The brush is huge. I have no lashes, so I can need all the help I can get. And so false lashes. <laughs> okay, so um, let's go ahead and do the skin really quick. Um, conceal with this um, Ben Nye Neutralizer Cream Crayon. I've used this in many videos. And then I'm just going to blend it out real quick with a brush. Billy B Foundation Brush number two. Okay, and that kind of cleaned up underneath the eye too, so it's not as heavy. I'm going to use NYX's HD grinding powder in true beige and I'm just going to use my Sedona Lace Kabuki brush and this has been my like lazy um, foundation recently because mm, it's hot it's hot in Atlanta I don't want to put a lot of stuff on it okay so to contour I recently rediscovered my Gemma Kid um, bronze perfection natural skin bronzer it's like exactly the same color on the second half of the Eve Pearl Tan Duo, which I usually use for contouring. So I'm going to take this with my Eve Pearl contour brush and get my contour on. And this is a matte bronzer, so it's a perfect color for the contouring. Okay. So what do we want to do on the cheeks? Let's see. Pull out my Kevin O'Quinn blush palette. Let's just do something kind of neutral. I'm gonna use this color right here. That's what it looks like. It's kind of like a very browny pink. And then I'm gonna apply it with my Confidential Fluffy Angled Brush, which is better for blush than contour because it's so fluffy. Then take the um, this right here, the Celestial Powder from Kevin O'Quinn, the highlight powder, and get it right on top. Gorgeous! Okay. A little bit down the nose. Let's see, what we do I want to do for our lips? I'm going to put, bust this out because I recently was um, kind of going through all my old makeup and I found this and I like it. It's a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Iced Coffee. It's like a lipstick pencil. Okay, now I'm going to come in with a little bit of cork just because I just want my edges defined a little bit more. And then a little bit of Scandinavia. Set all this makeup. And that's it. My smoky eye look from the Urban Decay palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, yeah, use pretty much um, the Urban Decay eyeshadows for the whole look. And I will have pictures and products listed on my blog. So make sure to check out MakeupByRenRen.com for a full post. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.